It's no secret that the month of December can be full of hustle and bustle, but it also should be a time for family, friends, music, and warm lights. That was the case at Whittemore Park Thursday night, November 30th, as the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum and Arlington's Chamber of Commerce organized First Lights, a free family fun celebration of the season. And ACMI News was there. Now that Thanksgiving is in the rear view, It was time to ring in the December holidays in Arlington. It goes to show you that everybody is eager for the holidays and they're out and the kids are here and the music is here. It's a great event. An estimated 500 people turned out for First Lights 2023 in front of the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum, a surefire way to de-stress during what can be a stressful time of the year. This is a, has a villagey atmosphere about Arlington. Uh, this is a great seasonal occasion, uh, lighting the tree, and it, it's an extension of having the music on the green here in front of Dal like Cyrus Dallin House. And now it's Christmas time, and it brings everyone together. There's a huge mob here. This is wonderful. Before all this goodness and light made its presence known, there was an open house at the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum indoors Inside for the younger children, we have a scavenger hunt on a sheet of paper. They go around, check off the individual items that's in the square, come back and get a sticker as a prize. And outdoors, there was cookie decorating, a tent for hot chocolate, popcorn, and holiday-themed characters. So we're very pleased to be able to continue with the chamber and our sponsors um, to offer this to the community in Arlington. And with the help of the Arlington High School Madrigal Singers and Northeastern University's group Pitch Please, Whittemore Park was alive with the sound of music. This was also the perfect opportunity for the Chamber of Commerce to collect new mittens, gloves, and socks for those area residents in need. So we are collecting mittens, hats, and socks, uh, brand new, for kids and adults. And um, it seems like such a basic item, but there are a lot of people who need those. So um, we'll be donating them to Arlington's Holiday Help. Um, and we certainly hope we'll have a nice size collection box by the end of the night. Well, you're off to a good start. Happy holidays. Thanks. You too. It's that time of the year when the world falls in love. Just a beautiful night here at Whittemore Park with the tree lighting ceremony here between the Chamber of Commerce and the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum. Now, if you missed tonight's event, these lights, these beautiful lights will be around all this month, the month of December and parts of January. So you can come here and get into the holiday spirit. If you want to see another tree lighting ceremony, and who does it? December the 9th. 5 p.m. in front of ACMI TV in Arlington Heights, 85 Park Ave. There's going to be cider, cookies, song, the big man, the jolly old elf, Chris Kringle. Mr. K is going to be there. So he'll take your orders. Great way to get into the holiday spirit. Come by here and see the beautiful lights at Whittemore Park and then stop over to ACMI and see that tree lighting ceremony. You're not going to be disappointed. And if you're not in the Christmas spirit after this and that, Happy holidays, everybody. Reporting for ACMI News, I'm Jeff Barnt. And just to recap our big day on December the 9th, ACMI will be taking part in the Arlington Heights Holiday Stroll and Tree Lighting from 3 to 4.30 p.m. There will be a classic photo op with Santa Claus right here in Studio A at 85 Park Avenue. So bring your cell phone. Then from 4.45 to 5.15 p.m., right out front of our building, you'll hear holiday songs by the Arlington High School Madrigal Singers. And, of course, we'll have the official ACMI seasonal tree lighting. And to sweeten the deal, the tree lighting comes complete with free hot cider and cookies, all provided by Foodlink, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Wilson Farm, and ACMI. Want to find out more about this event? Just go to artsarlington.org. Again, that's artsarlington.org. We hope to see you there.